Hi friends, welcome to Happy Learning YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing one of the most important uh, short notes from The Animal Farm, a famous novel written by George Orwell. The short note says The Battle of the Windmill. In most UG exams, this question is asked for 5 marks. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe for more videos of English language, literature and grammar. Let's get started. The Battle of the Windmill. This happens in chapter 8th. As I've told you earlier, this novel is having 10 chapters. I've also done many videos on Animal Farm. The link is given in the description box. You go and watch it. So, this uh, the Battle of the Windmill takes place in chapter 8th. And let us see the background, why this battle takes place, who wins in the battle and at what cost it is won. Okay, now the background is Napoleon, Napoleon who is the leader of the farm and he is a pig as we already know. So he is in a dilemma, he don't know what decision to be taken, whether to sell the timber to Frederick or Pillington. They both are neighbours of the animal farm. So at last it is decided that he will sell the uh, timber to Frederick. Okay, now what this Frederick does, he cheats the animal farm by giving fake notes, duplicate notes, duplicate currency, duplicate money. So this uh, Napoleon, he goes mad with anger and he calls an animal meeting. And in the meeting, he announces that death is a proper punishment to uh, Frederick. And how he should die? He should be boiled alive. So that sentence he passes. Okay, so this is the background why the battle takes place. Now, Napoleon is smart enough and he guesses that surely um, Frederick and his men will attack on the animal farm. So, what he has done is he has posted many animals, sentinels is watch to watch as a watchman at all the corners of the animal farm because uh, they'll watch and they'll uh, inform Napoleon when Frederick and his men will attack. And meantime, pigeons are sent to Pillington. So, Napoleon has sent a message telling that he wants to maintain a good relationship with Pillington. And if necessity, this Pillington has to help him. So, this message is sent. I hope this is clear. Now, what happens? Next day itself, Frederick and his men attack on the farm. There are 15 men. And they have six guns. And as soon as they enter the farm, they start to fire. When they are just 50 yards from the farm. And seeing this open firing and terrible explosion, the animals cannot face it. A pranical face mada kagala, tumba bullets ala bartha irate. So what they do is they go and hide in the farm. All the animals are hiding in the farm. The bullets the, and, the, and the explosion is too heavy even to, uh, Napoleon also cannot take it. Napoleon being the leader, he cannot face it. Boxer, you know that he is a horse. A hard, work, hard working, loyal horse. Even for him also, he is unable to bear the pillets. Pillets are bullets. Okay, and what happens is, in this uh, struggle, lot of animals are uh, wounded. Okay, and we see that at the end of the battle, almost, almost every animal is wounded. Okay, now what happens? Frederick and his men, what they do? They start capturing the windmill. First, they capture the windmill. And their idea is to blow the windmill. To teach uh, um, this animals a lesson. So, meanwhile, in the meantime, pigeons come with a message from Pillington telling that he is ready to help Napoleon. So, this happens. So now what this Frederick and uh, the men are doing, they have brought equipments with them like crowbar and hammer. And they start hitting on the base of the uh, windmill. So Napoleon from inside itself, he cries that it is impossible for them because the walls are well built. They are too thick and only a crowbar and a hammer cannot destroy them. So he is crying. But Frederick's idea is different. What they do is, they dig a hole. And in the hole, 
it is filled with blasting powder okay after filling the blasting powder they successfully blast the windmill so once the windmill is blasted the animals become uh, what do you call they become quite daring okay and all this fear is lost and they start marching towards the enemies enemies is frederick and his men because uh, the animals have built the windmill with uh, so much of hard work and they are very hurt when they see that the windmill is destroyed as the animals come near what these men do is they hit them with sticks and they kick with boots but nothing can stop the animals so in this struggle what happens a cow three sheep and two geese are killed and everyone almost all the animals are wounded okay some some get serious injury and some are uh, it's not serious injury but they are wounded boxer's hoof is split this is important why this is important is because this leads to the death of boxer how it is we'll see in the next video Napoleon was giving directions from inside Napoleon does not face Frederick and his men face to face but he is inside and he is giving direction for the battle though he is inside his tail is chipped chipped is cut cut by the pellet okay now what happens all the animals have taken charge boxer kicks three men frederick's men and their heads are blown and they are uh, bleeding like anything Jesse and Bluebell you must be remembering the other dogs and what these Jesse and uh, Bluebell do is they tear a man's trousers okay and the last blow comes from Napoleon's nine dogs they are bodyguards of Napoleon okay what they do is they charge the men they here their men are there and they charge them not only the dogs from everywhere the animals have attacked the men so what these humans do what this frederick and his men do they know that they won't stand before the animals because they live the uh, their life is lost so what they do they start running for their life so in this way the animals win the battle but at what cost many animals die and the windmill is destroyed okay so after all this uh, after the battle squealer comes and One minute silence is observed. Mauna charani. Adad mele. Squealer ban bitto. Now battle yeddi ro diya ke. Why we have won the battle? Because of Napoleon's leadership. That is one thing. Okay. And he, he is such a strong leader that he has guided us in a very right way. That's why we won the battle. Nanta. Aunu matte hogul thane. Next. And again the windmill can be built. It's not a problem. Windmill is destroyed. okay but again it can be rebuilt he says then after this napoleon gives an encouraging speech he motivates them he motivates the animals then after his speech a flag is hoisted animal flag you must be remembering the flag is green in color and it's having white hoof fine horn okay in the last class we discussed and this green it represented the fields of england so that was hoisted then the dead animals were buried we saw that many animals died so they were buried and this battle will be called from henceforth battle of windmill windmill anta karibeku anta decide martare and the celebration still go on like what they do is an an apple is given to each animal ella pranigalukku ond an apple anna kodtare three biscuits are given to each dog and three ounces of corn to each bird so this is done so the battle is won at the cost of many animals die and the windmill is destroyed and this also leads to the death of boxer now uh, let that will discuss in later uh, videos okay thank you very much uh, for joining the class if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you very much